able to put a hatch panel onto the red line spot right before the sandstorm lifted. The children head back into the loading station, grabbing cargo left and right. Meanwhile, across the way, 71-79, Crossfire, bringing out hatch panels for the Blue Alliance, delivering them to the Blue Alliance rocket. Trying to disrupt that is Team 498 of the Red Alliance, the Cobra Commanders. Crossfire reaches up, puts a hatch panel on the blue rocket on the near side. There goes 1678, their partner. They've got cargo trying to get around the defense of 498, the Cobra Commanders. They do it. They drop ca some cargo into the cargo ship in the middle. Crossfire does the same thing for the Blue Alliance. Racing back and forth, bringing cargo over to the Blue Alliance rocket near the scoring table. Way up goes that tall arm of 971 Spartan Robotics to the very top of the Red Alliance rocket and they drop the cargo successfully. Spinning around, here comes Blue Alliance Spot. 1678 putting more hatch panels on the Blue Alliance rocket ship. 971 Spartan Robotics flipping that cargo over the top of their heads into the cargo ship successfully. 179 Children of the Swamp. Looking for a turn to get to the loading station. Standing by by the half platform. Blue Alliance is out in front, 85 to 68 here with 24 seconds left to go in the match. It's time for end game. There goes 971, Spartan Robotics, jumping up to the top platform. Behind them come the children of the swamp. 1678 puts out the outriggers, waiting for their partners. They're gonna try for a triple lift. There go the children of the swamp. They're up in position. There's only four seconds left. 2-1, and that's the match. Now your official score. It was the Blue Alliance taking the match by a five. From Boise, Idaho, Team Taters. Our team from Canada, first time at championship, 64-85. Proudly representing Surrey from British Columbia in Canada, Mammoth Sands Mecca Mustangs. And rounding out this alliance from Washington, 24-25.